Hi. For last couple of weeks, we have entered a new phase of spread of COVID. We have there were a lot of good news is coming across the world. Vaccines were discovered, Pfizer vaccine, Moderna vaccine, Oxford vaccine, most of them having very good efficacy. Vaccination started in most part of the world. In UK it has started, US it has started, Israel it has started. So we thought we were winning the war against Corona and it is the beginning of the end. So we were all very happy. 2021 will be great. But then came the news yesterday from UK that a new virus strain has been discovered in southern part of the England. And Boris Johnson declared yesterday a tire for lockdown in London and its territories. UK has never done tire for lockdown. Tire for lockdown is a very strict lockdown. People cannot interact from a, a other household, especially during Christmas time, when, which is the most celebrated event in most part of the London, England and US. So people, they have, there are severe restrictions imposed and this will have severe conse political consequences also. So this decision shows that UK has taken this virus very seriously. So what is this virus? As we know, virus change slightly during its evolution. As humans fight the virus, virus also evolves, virus also changes its sequences. If there is a change in the genetic sequence of the virus, that is called mutation. There has been a lot of mutations in this virus over the past uh, one year. There are more than 400 mutations and every two weeks there is a new mutation which is discovered. Most of the mutations are harmless. They won't cause much harm and they won't increase the severity. They will not increase the transmissibility. But this virus strain, what has been shown is that what we know is this is more transmissible. First and foremost, we don't know much about this virus because this is a newly discovered variant of the COVID, SARS-CoV-2. So we don't know fully about it. But what is there in the public domain is, this virus is 70% more transmissible than the earlier virus. In London, this was discovered in September. It used to cause 10% of the total infections, it used to cause 10%. What has happened now is, it is causing 70% of the infections in London that indicating that it has replaced the previously prevalent variant meaning it has a survival advantage over the previous variant of this virus because this is more transmissible this becomes more prevalent so what is the problem with that UK is to report in last month around 15,000, 16,000 cases. Over the last 2-3 weeks, the cases have exponentially increased to 32,000 or 33,000. As we know, 10% is the total people who become sick. So out of 15,000, 1,000 patients will require a hospital admission. But when the number increased to 30,000, 35,000, the number requiring hospital care also doubles or triples. This can really topple the healthcare infrastructure. That's why UK has taken such a strict measure. So first thing what I told is that it is more transmissible, it can spread from one person to other person more faster than the earlier virus. That is uh, what the presumptions are. Second thing, second question is even if it transmits that's okay, is it more deadly, is it more virulent? We don't know that yet. It may be or it may not be. But earlier indicators shows that it is not with its uh, uh, clinical manifestation, it is not much severe than the earlier virus. It is almost similar. But what is worrying is this mutation has happened in that area of the virus which binds to the cell. The virus binds to the cell and enters the body through a protein called spike protein. The spike protein binds the cell then the virus enters. So all the vaccines, maybe Pfizer, Moderna or uh, Oxford vaccine have developed in such a way that the body produces antibodies against this spike protein. So the va vaccine is given, the antibody is produced, the antibody will go and bind to the spike protein so that the cell cannot, virus cannot enter the cell. That is what is the, how the vaccine works. But this new virus has a mutation in the spike protein. So what is the problem? The vaccines may be less efficacious or may not be efficacious.
that is what the all the countries all the scientists are worried about although it appears very unlikely that vaccine is totally useless it's very very unlikely most of the time the vaccines will produce antibodies against different parts of spike protein so more mutation may not be dangerous but we are all very cautious that's why uk has done tier 4 lockdown all the other countries have banned travel from uk to their countries until there is a further more clarity indian authorities are also likely to take this decision in today or tomorrow all this indicates that we have to be a bit cautious for next couple of weeks just to understand how this pathogen works and i am sure in the coming days we will have more clarity and i hope the vaccine will work against this variant also and things will settle down very fast thank you